Good evening, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Saturday night, November 15th, 2014, around 6.51 p.m. in Berwick, Massachusetts. It was a very cold day, even though it was sunny. felt like close to late late fall, early winter, but it was close to 40, and but no snow. And some news to report before I get to my next video blog subject. The Boston Bruins ended the two-game losing streak by beating the uh, Carolina Hurricanes by the score of 2-1 to one today. Great to see the Bruins back on track. And they're, like, bunched up with a lot of teams for, like, points. Only a few points out of first place in the Atlantic Division. This is early season, though, so eventually teams are going to break out of, the, out of the pack and go straight to the top of the Atlantic Division. Hopefully the Bruins go back to the top of the division sooner or later and that's about it and my next subject is about the classic television series the rockford files the rockford files was one of the most famous tv private detective cop shows of all time it was critically acclaimed it lasted six years on nbc from september 13th 1974 to january 10th 1980 and it starred james gardner as jim rockford private investigator who was um, a private investigator who went to jail back in back years earlier for a crime he didn't commit, but he got pardoned. And he got a, a conviction was overturned. He got pardoned, and then he had to find a job as a private investigator. Also starring Noah Barry Jr. as Joe Rock, Rocky Rockford, who was. Rockford's father is also starred Joe, Joe Santos as Sergeant slash Lieutenant Dennis Becker of the LAPD. Jim Rockford and Becker were old buddies, uh, pals, even though sometimes they didn't agree on stuff. And it also starred Gretchen Colbert as Beth Davenport, who was Jim's Rockford's lawyer and former love interest. And for comic relief, Stuart Margolian as Evelyn Angel Martin, who actually spent time with Jim Rockford in, pit, in prison. A show was created by Roy Higgins and Stephen J. Connell, and was association with Cherry Creek Productions, which was a company owned by J James Gardner, in association with U Universal Television. The series' theme was composed by Mike Post and Pete Carpenter and it with a do 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 and before the theme song was played they had an answering machine at the beginning of the show with Jim Rockford which was pretty good hello this is Jim Rockford I can't I leave a name and message it, I'll get back to you, boom, and it was some crazy like stuff like that on, on the answering machine. The series is about a private investigator, Jim Rockford, who was sent to prison for a crime he did not commit, but he was paroled and he got pardoned by the government. And J Jim Rockford lives in a detapulated detapul mobile home near the beach. Rockford usually wore low-budgeted, off-the-rack clothing. He wore kind of a cheap-looking sports coat and stuff. And he, like, allow, and he rarely gets into a fight or gets avoids into the fight. When he was on cases and stuff like that, he carries, a, he rarely carries a gun, even though he owns a gun. He, he, it's a, a like, coat detective special, which, Jim Rockford does not have a permit for it, and he talks his way out of trouble during his cases. He charges two he charged two hundred dollars a day plus expenses, and he dri drive the Firebird Express. And he and Jim Rockford was hired to work on cold cases, missing pers person. Low budgets and skill and and low budget insurance scams. So all of these was like very. These cases were kind of like he didn't want to get involved with the police. He he's, he 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 did not handle open cases because he wanted to avoid the trouble with the police. He was chummy chummy with 
with like um, Becca, but the other two detectives with the LA Police Department, which was who was James, who was Doug Chapman, played by James Lux Kesskopf, and Tom and Lieutenant Alex slash Tom Delaney, played by Tom Atkinson. They did not like Moffat at all, and you know. This was the case, and also Rockford did, did not like to get into fights and stuff like that. And the series was pretty good for storylines and stuff like that. It was a lot of a crime drama, but sometimes with comedy moments, with the stuff with like Angel Martin, he would pop up from time to time and help Jimmy, Jimmy with a with a case. He called him Jimmy and stuff. And it was pretty some of the stuff with the Rockford files with. Andrew Martin and Jim Rockford was so funny as, at times, even though that took away from the seriousness of the show. And J James Gardner actually did his own stunts while with like driving the car and stuff and this and that. And the series was pretty good for ratings rise. It peaked out at the first year in the top 20 show at 12, it was 12th in the ratings the first season. Then it, the ratings dropped, but it was still in the top 50 for the for seasons two through four, and then it bottomed out in like 59th place in the fifth season. And it was still really popular with like viewers and stuff. They did a sixth season, but the series had it to come to a halt out in midway through 1980 because doctors told Jim James Gardner to stop like doing the stunts and stuff. He was suffering from ulcers, and he had knee injuries and stuff like that so they had a whole production and also there was a lot of rumors that the production company with Cherry Key Productions says like the Rockford Files was losing big time money and but NBC and Universal was saying the series was making a profit and stuff like that and it caused James Gardner to sue Universal for like royalty fee fees in the syndication of the show which became Jim Rockford Private Investigator in 1979 because back then when television shows were going to syndication while still on the air they would have to use kind of a variation of a title because they didn't they, to, to, not to confuse viewers that showing that five days a week would be the same as the prime time so many shows did that back in the 70s and 80s they used a variation of a, the title and then uh, like Jim James got in the, the lawsuit lasted into the late 80s. There was rumors going around that James Gardner was going to reprise Jim Rockford on a episode of Magnum P.I. P. in the 80s, but that didn't come to be because of the pending lawsuit. And reruns of the Rockford Files were seen in the Boston market on Fox 25 from 1979 through 1984. Then went, they went on to WQTV 68 on and off for about 15 years, which became WABU 68 and stuff. It's also been shown on cable reruns of the Rock Files, first in the early and mid-90s on A&E. And then they showed it on TV Land. Now it's on weekdays at noontime on MeTV and 6 p.m. on Sundays on MeTV and stuff like that. James Gardner eventually settled his lawsuit with NBC Universal and he did eight TV movies of the Rock the Files from 1994 through 1999 on CBS and it reunited most of the cast of the original Rockford Files it, the show followed the same the move TV movies followed the same premises but like Jim Rockford's mobile home by the beach was actually remodeled to look decent and stuff in it and these television movies were pretty good and they were kind of highly rated and stuff like that and they they are on DVD the first four movies are on DVD the other four movies did not even get released on DVDs and all six seasons of the Rockford Files are on DVD and I have all six seasons of it and there was talk in like 2012, 2013 that NBC ordered a pilot for a 
reboot of the Rockford Files, a new version of the Rockford Files, and actually a pilot was made and was shown to NBC executives, but NBC executives just passed on the show saying that this is not the original, this is not like the version with J James Gunn, and it's kind of, you know, when last couple of weeks on the air, so it was passed for potential series and all of the other NBC Universal Comcast networks will look at it and they took a pass as well but there's going to be a movie version of the Rockford Files starring Vince Vaughn which is in, which could be out in a couple of years but I don't know if a movie version of the Rockford Files is going to be good I, I wonder if it's going to be mainly comedy and stuff maybe a focus on Rockford and they have to find somebody to play Angel Martin and if it, they turn into kind of like mainly a, a comedy type movie it probably flopped big time but you never know Vince Vaughn's a big star and he, he, has, to, he has to find somebody who a, a actor who would be like the, the modern day version of Angel Martin and stuff like that and if you could get a good cast of person for like Joe Rockford, Rockford and Lieutenant Becca and Gretchen and, and Beth Davenport and the other minor characters, it could be a big hit, but I'm, I'm saying it's going to be a flop in my opinion. I think it's not. It probably lasts three weeks in movies, theaters, and then drop out of them. Well, I'll be back later on tonight, Facebook friends and YouTube followers with the third and final video blog of the night, which will be about... Dancing with the Stars host Tom Bergeron. He's had a great career which started in Boston. See you later, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Bye now.